Hello there, fabulous crochet crew. Welcome to my cozy corner of creativity. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this really cute pineapple crop top. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the crochet love. This crochet halter top is a true work of art. For this tutorial, you'll need medium weight yarn, scissors, 2.5 mm crochet hook, dani needle, and measuring tape. We are going to begin by making a slip knot. Grab your yarn and wrap it around your finger twice. Then take the first loop and place it over the second loop. Then take the second loop and place it over the loop which was originally the first one. Then you're going to tighten the knot just like that. Grab your 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, insert it in the loop, and then we're going to make a foundation chain. To make a foundation chain, you're going to yarn over and then you're going to pull the yarn through the loop. Just like that. So yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop. Personally, I'm going to chain 17. This is for small to medium sizes. For larger sizes, add more chains as needed. And you'll create a chain long enough to reach from just under your bust to your nipple. After you've chained 17, you're going to block off the end and add three more chains. Then you're going to yarn over and prepare for a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So insert your crochet hook in the chain, pull the yarn through the chain. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and prepare for a double crochet in the next chain. You're going to insert your hook into the chain. Pull the yarn through the chain. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. I'm going to place one double crochet in every chain. I'll meet you at the first chain that we made. You can see now that I'm finished with the row. So now we're going to add another double crochet in that same chain. And then... We're going to chain one and add an additional two double crochets in that same chain. So you'll have two double crochets, a chain one and two more double crochets. Now we are going to work on the opposite side. As we are working on the opposite side, you're going to place one double crochet in every stitch. So in every stitch, you're going to place one double crochet and then as you crochet you can conceal any extra yarn just like that so you're going to place one double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row i'll meet you there here i am at the end of the row i'm going to prepare for a double crochet on top of the additional chain three that we made so we're done with row one to begin the next row, we are going to chain 3 and turn our work. Yarn over and prepare for a double crochet in the second stitch because the chain 3 counts as our first stitch. You won't be doing a normal double crochet. Instead, you're going to double crochet on the back loop. So make one double crochet in the next stitch at the back loop. Then you're going to go into every stitch of this row with one double crochet at the back loop. You will do that until you arrive at the chain one space at the top of the cap. So I'll meet you there. Here I am at the chain one space at the top of the bra. You're going to place two double crochets in that chain one space. And then you're going to chain one and place an additional two double crochets in that same chain one space then you're going to go back down the row with one double crochet in every stitch at the back loop so you're going to be placing double crochets in every stitch of this row at the back loop so i'll meet you once you're done with this row as we reach the end of the row you're going to prepare for your last double crochet on the chain three that we crafted below. So you're done with row one and two. To begin the next row, you're going to chain three. You're going to turn your work and prepare for a double crochet in the second stitch. 
So you're going to prepare for a double crochet in the back loop of the second stitch. So you're going to repeat row 1 and 2 over and over again until you get the size that you need. I made 5 more rows. Once you have both of your cups completed, we're going to attach it to the other cup and work on the middle design. Chain out a total of 3. Then you're going to grab your other cup and at the bottom corner, you're going to attach with a slip stitch. But before you attach, make sure that the ridges match on both of the cups. So attach the bottom corner with a slip stitch, just like that. This is going to get started on the inner design. This is where your chain is coming out from. You're, going, you're not going to slip stitch in that stitch. You're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches. So from where your chain is coming out from, in the next three stitches, you're going to make slip stitches, just like that. Then you're going to chain one and turn your work. And then remember the three chains that we made to connect the cups. You're going to place a double crochet in the middle of those three chains. So in the second chain, you're going to prepare for a double crochet in those three chains. Then you're going to chain one and prepare for another double crochet in that same chain. Then you're going to chain one and you want it to be the same like the other side. So in the fourth stitch, you're going to place a slip stitch. So now it's the same like the other side. Next row of the middle pattern, you're going to make a slip stitch in the next three stitches. That's my second slip stitch and that's my third slip stitch. Then we are going to chain two and turn our work and prepare for a double crochet in the shell beneath. So in the shell beneath, prepare for one double crochet. After you're going to chain two and place another double crochet in that same space. Afterwards, chain two and count the third chain up. From where the chain leaves off on that side, count the third chain up from where the chain leaves off from that side count the third chain up and make a slip stitch in the next three stitches you're going to slip stitch that's my second slip stitch and that's my third slip stitch then you're going to chain two and turn your work and you're going to prepare for two double crochets in the shell beneath that's my first double crochet that's my second double crochet, chain two, and place two more double crochets in that same space. Then chain two and count the third stitch up and place a slip stitch. Next row, you're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches. That's my third slip stitch. You're going to chain two and turn your work and you're going to place two double crochets in the shell beneath. That's my first double crochet. You're going to place another double crochet. Then you're going to chain two and insert two more double crochets in that shell. Afterwards, you're going to chain two and count the third stitch up from where your chain leaves. Count the third stitch up and go into that stitch with a slip stitch. Subsequently, you're going to place slip stitches in the next three stitches. So that's my second slip stitch and that's my third slip stitch. Afterwards, I'm going to chain two and turn my work and prepare for a double crochet in the shell beneath. That's my first double crochet. Insert another double crochet in that space. Afterwards, chain two and go into that space again and place two more double crochets. 
consequently chain two and make a slip stitch on the third chain from where your chain leaves off make a slip stitch on the third chain for those who didn't make the same number of chains and rows as me for the bra cap i'll explain how to customize it at the end following make three slip stitches in the next three stitches that's my third slip stitch chain two and in the shell beneath we are going to prepare for a double crochet this row will be a little different so first you're going to make two double crochets in that space and then you're going to chain two and place another two double crochets that's my second one you're going to chain two and insert two more double crochets in that space so that's the difference from the other row just like that you see afterwards you're going to chain two and count the third stitch from where the last chain leaves off count the third stitch up and place a slip stitch following you're going to make slip stitches in the next three stitches on the bra cap that's my second slip stitch and that's my third slip stitch afterwards you're going to chain two and turn your work in the first space you're going to insert a double crochet that's my first one you're going to insert another double crochet that's my second one and then you're going to chain two and insert two more double crochets in that first space like that afterwards you're going to chain two and in the next space you're going to insert two double crochets that's my first one that's my second double crochet chain two and two more double crochets in that last shell just like that consequently we're going to chain two and count the third chain from where the last chain on the bra cap leaves off count the third chain up and insert a slip stitch following in the next three stitches of the bra cap we're going to make slip stitches that's my first one that's my second slip stitch and that's my third slip stitch afterwards chain two turn your work and in the first space you're going to insert a double crochet you're going to insert another double crochet and then you're going to chain two and insert another two double crochets in that first shell there's a little space that we created in the middle you're going to chain one and in that little space you're going to insert a double crochet afterwards you're going to chain one and in that same little space you're going to insert another double crochet chain one and in the next shell you're going to insert two double crochets and then you're going to chain two and insert two more double crochets in that shell following you are going to chain two and count the third chain up and insert a slip stitch from where the last chain leaves off on the bra cap count the third chain up and insert a slip stitch subsequently in the next three stitches we are going to place slip stitches that's my second one and that's my third slip stitch i'm going to chain two and turn my work and in the first shell we're going to insert two double crochets that's my first one that's my second double crochet i'm going to chain two and insert another two double crochets in that shell following you're going to chain two and in that little shell that we made below you're going to insert two double crochets that's my first one that's my second double crochet chain two and insert another 
two double crochet in that little shell afterwards you're going to chain two and in the next shell you're going to insert two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets subsequently you're going to chain two and you're going to count the third chain up and insert a slip stitch following in the next three stitches you're going to make slip stitches that's my first slip stitch that's my second slip stitch and that's my third slip stitch we are at the top of the cap chain two and turn your work in the first shell you're going to place two double crochets that's my first one that's my second double crochet you're going to chain two and place another two double crochets afterwards you're going to chain two and in the next shell you're going to insert eight double crochets that's my first double crochet in the same shell insert another one that's two and that's three that's my fourth one my fifth one my sixth double crochet my seventh one and my last one the eighth one consequently you're going to chain two and in the next shell you're going to place two double crochets chain two and insert two more double crochets in that shell then you're going to chain two I haven't chained two. Have I chained two? I haven't chained two. You're supposed to chain two and then insert, make a slip stitch in the third chain up. I'm going to stop here with this center pattern, so I'm going to cut off my yarn. Next, we're going to do the edging on the side. I've already done one side and now I'll demonstrate how to replicate the same on the other side. These sides are identical to each other. You're going to insert your crochet hook at the bottom corner and then you're going to make a slip knot with your yarn. Grab your hook, insert it in the knot, tighten and pull your hook through the stitch. Following, you're going to chain two. This chain two will be this piece over here. You're going to chain one more, then block that chain with your finger. After, you're going to chain an additional three. Yarn over. And in the chain that you blocked off, insert your crochet hook in that chain. Then you're going to pull the yarn through the chain, yarn over, pull through two loops and leave it there. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same chain and pull the yarn through the chain, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the three loops. Chain two, yarn over. And in the same chain, insert your crochet hook, pull the yarn through the chain, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook in the chain, pull up, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook in the chain, pull up, pull through two loops. You now have four loops on your crochet hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all the four loops. You now have a double crochet cluster. Chain two and count the third stitch up from where 
the last chain leaves off, count the third stitch up and make a slip stitch. Create slip stitches in the following three stitches. That's my first slip stitch, my second slip stitch and my third slip stitch. Following, you're going to chain two and in that chain two space beneath, you're going to yarn over and insert your crochet hook in that space. Then you're going to pull the yarn and pull through two loops. Leave it there. Yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Leave it there. Yarn over and pull up and pull through two loops. You now have four loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all the four loops. Chain two. Then you're going to yarn over and pull up. Pull through two loops, leave it there. Yarn over and pull up, pull through two loops, leave it there. Yarn over and pull up, pull through two loops and leave it there. When you have four loops, you're going to yarn over and pull through all the four loops, just like that. Turn your work and you're going to make a slip stitch in that chain two space. Then you're going to chain three and you're going to yarn over, insert your crochet hook in the space, yarn over, pull through two loops, leave it there, yarn over, pull up, pull through two loops, leave it there, you have three loops, you're going to yarn over and pull through the three loops. You're going to chain two, yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops, yarn over, you're going to pull up and pull through two loops, leave it there, yarn over. You're going to pull up and pull through two loops. You have now four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the four loops. Chain two and count to the third stitch up. One, two, three. So make a slip stitch. Create slip stitches in the following three stitches. That's my first slip stitch, my second slip stitch, my third slip stitch. You're going to chain two, turn your work. And in the chain two space beneath, you're going to yarn over and insert your crochet hook in that space. Pull up and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through the four loops. Chain two, yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops yarn over and you're going to pull through all the four loops next you're going to make a slip stitch in that chain two space then you are going to chain three and insert your hook in the chain yarn over pull up pull through two loops yarn over pull up pull through two loops then you're going to yarn over and pull through three loops. Chain two, yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up and pull through two loops. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through the four loops. Then you're going to chain two and in the third stitch up, you're going to insert a slip stitch. Create slip stitches in the following three stitches and then you're going to continue with this pattern until the top of the cap. I'm placing this segment here without speeding it up because I want to ensure a clear explanation. Please watch it carefully and I hope the on-screen visuals provide assistance. But if you have any questions regarding this pattern, feel free to drop a comment and I'll be here to assist you.
we've completed the edging for the bra cap in the next part we'll move on to create this edging too which will eventually turn into our back strap and continue working on the central section join me in part two for the next steps see you there i'm here to deliver my commitment to show you how to adapt the top to suit various sizes i crafted this yellow one to serve as a demonstration as evident it's notably bigger than the blue one the blue one had seven rows while i added an extra two rows to make this one a total of nine rows to create a larger size you have two options either use a thick iron and a larger hook or make slight modifications to the pattern in the center for a larger size since you have more stitches on the bra cap you'll need to repeat an additional row or rows of this shell pattern keep in mind that each shell consumes three stitches Thanks for watching, catch you on the flip side in part 2.